Hello and welcome back. So yet another day, another continuation to the build on this city. This was the main focus of the previous couple of videos or so, the entertainment and tourism area. Uh, entertainment area, starting to get some traction. The tourism area, I built way too much too fast. So, and thinking more, I probably don't have enough uh, tourist attractions either. This bridge is probably the best thing I've built. It allows people from this area to walk over here without having to go the long way around on traffic. And just to finish recapping, we have this area that I just started doing some more residential on. That's just to give it a feature. Um, I think I'll continue this pattern outwards. This is in danger of being grid-like. I'm trying to avoid that at all costs and this is already too grid-like already. I mean it's only a few parallel roads but if that's not how a grid starts I don't know what is. So got to stop that in its tracks. Mustn't continue that grid pattern. Bit of low density housing that's neither here nor there. Now I am thinking of some upgrades like there's this area that's not really in use it just feels a bit too empty it's you know it provides a bit of a buffer i suppose from the original starting area to the new development but i'm thinking maybe is it time for another university yet the existing one it's okay but it's also down here I just built a ton of new high density houses over here with nothing near them so it's time for a university I think and not only just plonk down one of the original universities but um, let's go for the campus area. Now we got some road access already so that's not too bad so I can drop another I don't know what to call them access route and once the university is in place I can then start filling into the sides again with more residential since that is the biggest demand at the moment. At least that's the plan. Let's see how it goes, shall we? So how do we get to... Uh, is this one, was it? Campus area. I really don't know how big I need it yet. It could be that, it could be a bit more... Oh, no. It could be a bit more, it could be a bit less. Um, I can adjust it later. But we've got this area to play with. Now how much... I don't think a university in itself should generate too much traffic. So I don't need a massive road I think. That's a four lane road. Maybe a normal road. Just to service it. A dedicated one. Universities, they're rolling in cash, aren't they? They can afford the nice roads. Now, as much as I already said I don't want a grid system, I think it will be to start with. So, this is this will be the main entrance. I'm going to put some side roads in as well, because it doesn't have to be but um, just this as an access. So you drive down, you've got this nice sort of like small avenue probably don't need the expensive roads all the way around or do we uh, just having a quick look actually there's only a slight slope in the area it's probably not too bad well, again I don't know how I haven't planned this through at all if that's not too obvious. Which type do I want to be? Trade, liberal arts, and I can't do that one yet. And there's some extra stuff. So trade school or liberal arts? Which do you think would best go in this area? And it could go either way actually because this area here like I said, it's uh, this is entertainment and this is tourism. Actually, I think liberal arts probably makes more sense. It's not really 
shall we say, a high finance area for trade school. So let's go with a liberal arts one then. Where's the thing gone? So can't put anything down yet apart from the main building. So that... I can't remember, does it? It will go centrally. So you drive in, that's the first thing you see. Arguably it might even look more interesting from the back, but... Um, that doesn't look too interesting, does it? It'll do. Right, we have water here already, we do not have power. Should I put power in yet or not? Because that isn't going to do an awful lot until I put everything else around it. So what else have we got to go around it? Dormitories. People need somewhere to stay, so that's a... Uh, we're going to have to put a few of those down. Study halls. Groundkeeping. Drama club. Uh, what's that one? School of Education. Right, so let's start with dormitories. You know, start with the basics. I'm thinking... Maybe we could have a structure, I say structure, an area to one side, maybe this side. That would be dedicated to that. And if I remember correctly, we don't have to use roads, we can use the paths. So for example, let's just continue that down for now. Where's the dorms? Is it this one? Okay, so it does, it goes like that. Again, it would be a bit too boring if I just stuck everything onto a rectangular grid. And I'm thinking, since it's falling in a diagonal pattern already, would it not look nice if I did that? I'll have to sort the roads and paths out in a second. Okay, it can't do more than that. That is probably not the good way around to do it, is it? So let's just move it over a bit. No, I've gone off it, gone off the idea already. What I think I will do instead is let's just move that out of the way a bit. Is what if we have a kind of like a kind of like a courtyard? So if I just which button is it to rotate that one? So that's not the final position, but just to give me something to space on. That will go roughly there. That will go roughly there. Yeah, the slope is going to be interesting again. What if... I'll put it on this side. But before I put it on that side, let's try to level the ground. So is it secondary button to choose target height? So we'll make it match that. Um, we're going to need a lot bigger than that, I think. Uh, I have to take the pylons and the roads out in a second so that it can finish levelling it. I mean, even if it means a bit of a hill, it means a bit of a hill. I don't mind. You know, I can soften it again afterwards, can't I? If I want um, to make it more natural to the other ones. But I just want a level building area for once. One that doesn't have all these funky slopes and things. So just to give that a bit more of a swish. And... Oh! By chance it breached down there, but I'm not going to rely on that. Is there still a slope there? There's still a slope there where that path is. Did I not get it the same as this? 
I think we're going to have to be really brutal. Everything... Everything south of this side. Just temporarily get up over there. We're going to make this area flat. Is there a little bit of height because of the road as well? I don't know. Right, if that's not getting excessive enough yet. Is there still a bit of a slope there? Not for much longer. Now, luckily I've got the unlimited soil on, otherwise I would have run out ages ago, wouldn't I? I probably won't build a university all the way to the edge, but just I just want a nice canvas to work with. Right, let's try that again. Boom. Is that flat or not? I think... I don't know if it's just a trick off the background, making it look like it's at an angle. But if I haven't managed to flatten it now, I'm never going to, am I? Now, what was I saying? I want this as a kind of um, a kind of like a quad of sorts. So, again, just to give me a rough idea of where the paths can go. Uh, it won't let me snap in between. They won't let me snap in between. So unless I want to run another parallel path to it, which might be a bit excessive. I mean, one way to do it, I suppose, is... Do I know what length that was? 240. Just checking. I mean, how does that look? With the tree right in front of the entrance. And the last one. You know, I could put a feature in there in a moment, but we got three groups of residents. What are they called again? Dormitories. And a nice open space, they can do whatever they do between them. Right, what else have we got? Study hall. Now, what? before I do that, wasn't there a cafeteria, or was that a later unlock? Outdoor study, gymnasium, cafeteria. That's a later unlock. Because I really do think the cafeteria should be right next to the dorms, so they don't have to go too far. And so much for my... I'm not building a square. A grid, I mean. This is very gritty, isn't it? I've, 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 I've started it now, might as well continue it. And this is the annoying bit when it won't let you snap. So we'll put some other stuff on this side then. We'll reserve that area for cafeteria and maybe study area. How's that looking?
So the study hall you want accessible, but probably not too close to the dormitories. You don't want to be thinking about work all the time, do you? It's quite massive, isn't it? Groundkeeping is quite a small building, I think. That can just go tuck it on the side somewhere. Maybe I'll put it in later. Drama club, not too massive. Now, will the cafeteria fit? I don't know how much space it needs, so I'll reserve that area for the cafeteria. Do we have any other big buildings? Mm, what's that one? School of Education. That is a huge, chunky one. That can go on one end. So, I mean, I'm thinking now, I probably want to keep this open so that you can just take a look and just see the vastness of... That is massive. Um, so we've still got the drama club to hide somewhere. I'm thinking... I don't know. How important is a drama club? Because I'm thinking maybe a little side road and just hide it down the corner there. Or should that be where the groundskeeper should be? So it's just a groundkeeping building still to be placed. Unless I want to duplicate some of the others, which I don't. If I continue that path, maybe just tack it on the end there. Probably should do the same on that one. Is it that one? It's that one. And we have ourselves a university. I was thinking about having this as like a... I don't know what you would call it actually. It's sort of like a surrounding road. But with the proximity to that cemetery, that could be a bit tight. And again, I'm kind of forcing myself into a grid passing if I do that. How are we doing? We've got enough attractiveness, don't have enough students. Cinematography, let's do it. I'm on unlimited money anyway. So should I? I'm, I'm tempted to still use this as like a, sur a surrounding boundary road. Uh, could get a little bit tight there though. And likewise here. No, snap to that one, not that one. Uh, Is it? So it snaps this that grid, but I don't want to snap to that grid. I want my own separate grid here. I can't do that because that's a path. I mean, do I just have to eyeball it? No, it's, it's snapping to something. I mean, I, I do have to follow this really. I don't have a choice in it. Otherwise, it will just get a bit messy. Similar here. I don't know how much gap I need. So, again, just by I. Something like that. That's not quite straight. 
Uh, but I can use that one as a guide actually, so we'll just redo that. If I back off a little bit, I can give it a bit more of a gentle curve, I think, a bit less violent. Why isn't it snapping to that one? I want it to join onto that. Now, what's the back one or forward one? I'm not brilliant at judging that. Does that look about right? This might be a bit tight. Uh, might be a bit tight is an understatement. I mean, I suppose I could... It'd be a little bit less symmetric I guess so I just need to be enough to get past that building which is there I think is that past it or not and then if I just shorten that segment a little bit then it will hopefully curve a bit more I'm trying to get the right snaps not easy not to that one. That doesn't look any different, does it? I'll leave it. This one does need to go back a little bit again, similarly. So maybe... I don't know, is that enough? It'll soon tell me if it isn't. So that's our... That's going to be the university campus. I think that will do. So now I can reduce the zone. I don't need all that bit there. I might need to add a tiny bit there. Doesn't have to be too neat. Just as long as it's not overly excessive. Sunset International College. That sounds a bit more like a retirement home, doesn't it? How many people are in there? There we are, 386. Not a huge amount. Now, what I was thinking was we probably could use more connectivity but I now have a massive slope there that isn't going to be easy to get up or down. I mean, even if I smooth it, that's going to be still pretty sharp, isn't it? Like, if I just smooth this corner, for example, would that be shallow enough to make a realistic-looking hill? Let's try it. Oh, that is the biggest one. I mean, there might be limits on how soft it can go because of the roads either side of it. Don't think it's softening anymore, is it? That's as soft as it's going to get. And I might or might not have unflattened that. But that gives us a more shallow slope. That's what I was going for. I mean, it, it ain't going to help that at all, is it? But I'll just give it a slight swish. It might just take a, just a little bit of the harshness of it. You know, would this be useful as a sort of like a, re a rear pedestrian access? Can I use, not, can I use these paths? Where would it go? I'm thinking near the junction. I mean, even though there's not actually a formal road junction there. 
going down to that road junction. You know, I don't know if anyone actually used that, but it's an option now. I'm thinking similarly, maybe just one by here. I'm thinking a little bit more low key for this one actually. Maybe you don't want to um, call too much attention when there's a symmetry next door to you. So that just gives people a bit more potential access route to this area. And. Oh, that's an uphill. I thought it was the way around. I thought that was the lower. Hmm. So you're not going to go up that directly. So that implies maybe a path along the side here. Do I want to connect the roads up is another question. So for example I could just put a normal road and join it onto there. You know, I wanted that to be, like I said, the main entrance. But I wouldn't want to rule out smaller access roads as well. Especially if this will become... I don't know actually. If I'm going to build this to be residential, do I want the residential traffic spilling into here? You know, I wanted this to be dedicated to be the university area. So in that sense, maybe I don't want to connect it up any further. You've got the path in and out. I don't know. Right, let's just double check if there's any other decoration or... I need to unlock it, don't I? Let me... I could do sporty stuff. Are these... Yeah, they're really huge. I have not planned for that. Maybe, because this is an RT1, you know, I'm not going to go for the sports so much. The massive. I mean, I'll have to exp... No. Not for this one, anyway. Museums can't do, and... Do these have to be... Or do they go anywhere? I'll leave that for now. But I do want to put another footpath in, regardless. So just a little footpath there, for example. Uh, what am I doing? Is that the trade one again? Yes. Right. I'm thinking because of the... the slope, you know, make this a little bit more does it really need to have that junction there? It just looks a bit out of place, doesn't it? So can I just do that? Apparently I can. That'll do. They like their benches. Just out of interest, is anyone actually using these paths? Or is the university self-contained enough that... Oh, there's one guy there. I have to pause it, otherwise I'll never manage to click on them. Okay, so they live there. But they're going to school there. So they don't just live in these then. Okay, so... Oh, too many pushes off the escape button there. They don't just live uh, within the university they can live outside it and travel in and out so in that sense i mean that's making me lean slightly more towards allowing more traffic into the university area but i don't want too many connections i don't want it to become a default path for everything else you know a few walking paths i think is good because that will give the people some some options let's say Speaking of options, I'm thinking I need more residential. So the university I think is great for this area. This is making this area more attractive, but I need more people. 
Should I just expand this pattern? Does a grid have to be square to be called a grid? Right, this is going to get interesting. Can I do this? Now, the trouble is, maybe it's easier if I start further out. So we start going out at right angles. That would imply I have to continue these roads first. So I won't need all that, but that just gives me something to go on to. Now, if I'm going out there, I'm just going to put it there as a marker. Because that has to now line up. I'm pointing at the screen, you can't see this. Is that lining up with that? Well, I don't know if that was perfect or not, but it was as good as I'm going to get with my eyes. They're not the best eyes. But the idea then is, of course, I can continue this idea around this side. Uh, give me the road back. Right. Now, this is a bit more difficult because it's not joining onto a right angle road anymore. It's joining on to a bit of a... Um... So if there was a road coming off here, it would be going up that way. So I'm gonna, I have to aim for there. Which is about... There or back one. Over a little bit more. I don't think that's perfect. But it's close enough. And then maybe just a little, an additional spoke just to give a bit more connectivity. So like I said, it, it does give an area a little bit more interest rather than just a regular grid pattern. Now, if I got the zones set up right. Which one are they? Residential? That one. Right. So I only wanted that to be the eco self-sustaining whatever it's called housing. So these are just normal housing now. So it should offer a little bit of contrast as well. Uh, I'm going to keep in mind I may or may not need more schools as I build those. The nearest Elementary school there. I think we have enough capacity in that one. So I'm going to continue and fill in these areas. You know, they should have decent education in the area now. They've got university next door. Um, so I'm just going to let that fill in a bit and then I'll decide if or how to expand further. Like for example I could probably go around here but I don't want to be too near the main road either so maybe just a tiny bit in there. Uh, the nearest high school is a bit further away though so I'm a bit concerned about that. Do I need another one a bit closer? Oops, I've got to stop doing that. Let's turn up the speed. Fuel the speed! So how's that looking? Is that looking okay? I mean I could probably take that road and go parallel so that it's an independent junction of the university. Again, you know, just trying to keep that its own contained thing and not not joined on to the rest of the network. Not significantly anyway.
I mean, there's still a possibility, I suppose, there's people just literally walking past. I see a fire. Have I got fire coverage here? Um, I probably could do with some more fire coverage in this general area, shouldn't I? Couldn't I? Shouldn't I? And especially if I'm going to do something funky, I don't want to put it on that road for now. But I can put it on that road. Okay, so that seems to have largely satisfied the residential demand. Still some ongoing industry demand. Slightest hint of commercial demand. And I'm thinking I want to put my commercial zones in here. I'm only going to go low density because they are right next to housing. But this is set up as the local produce option. It just seems something fitting for this area with the eco housings immediately surrounding it. While that's going, do I want some more offices, for example? So I did line the main road here with office, and then the smaller roads behind it, more high-density residential. So I probably could use a more office area at some point, but not necessarily here. It doesn't have to be here. Uh, what I could do with is residential demand is rising again. Now the thing is, I don't, you know, obviously I can't do another full arc. Well, actually, if I was going to have a buffer area anyway, let's just take this stub out. Where would a road go? So, for example, if I wanted a road that does not interfere. with the existing trade area, that's where I could go. You know, just give them some clear isolation. I can put some trees in there later maybe, just to give a bit more of a separation. The contrast is really not helping, is it? Uh, so if I wanted to go... Now the difficulty here is, I don't know how far I need to drag this down before... I... Oh! It really helps if I have the bendy tool turned on when I do that. Let's try that again. One more. Right. How far down do I need to go to drag it down... Okay. So, not that far. Let's just try that much. I'm just trying to get a feel for the angle. So, a little bit less again. Let's try about that much. And once again, I don't want to get too close to the highway either. It's not a highway, but you know what I mean. The major, more major road. Now... Do I just go straight in? I have. Anyway. So that would be another smidge of high density residential. go a little bit more here as well but again just not getting too close to the main road is that excessive or not to put some there oh, I've done it now anyway let's just see what happens so let's just have a quick look at our elementary schools again filling up nicely what if I take the bigger view 
uh, which is here, isn't it? Elementary, okay, just about, but I have to keep an eye on that. High school should be okay, university, tons, and I still haven't built a library. Should I build a library? Like I said in the past, uh, people don't really seem to use them. Is that the library? How big is it? Can I put it there? Okay, more options. Not sure I'll use any of those. I do like the winter market. That could make a nice feature in a future zone. Now this has, you know, quite a decent coverage. But where would I put it? You know, I don't want it to interfere with the university either. Since it's a general... I'm gonna, let's just, how does it look there? Okay. I mean, okay. Bit of a slope, but... It's got good coverage for the whole area. Now, one thing I totally neglected was... I was thinking in my head, and then I totally forgot. Do I want to put transport in other than road? I've got a rail line there. And I think I'm already cornering myself, because I'm thinking if I wanted to bring the rail... I, I, I was thinking I, it might be an idea to bring the rail line somehow down into this area. I mean, a single line going through the forest isn't too bad. Maybe, you know, have a passenger station there. Maybe a passenger station there. Would they... And then the new question is, would they all be on... Would it be a local train route, or would it be a longer distance one? Because that doesn't feel like enough of a long distance. I want to get tourism in, so I want external connection but a train might not be necessarily one for internal transportation just yet just out of interest how is this area going entertainment side looking decent enough that is probably still down to me I need to produce more tourism attractions How are we doing there? A few little lots. Moms, sprouts, lovely. How's the college doing? We've got one academic work, so let's give them uh, music. Vanilla Skylines. That's what I call this video series, isn't it? I'm using a base game with uh, DLC, but no mods and no additional assets beyond that. Uh, the only mod I might use later on, and I consider it a minor enough one not to really count, is just the one that lets you lock, lock? unlock more of the map. Uh, that's something I hadn't th thought about actually, you know, where do we go next? Do I continue this direction or that direction? Because I'm thinking this would be my industrial side and I want this to be the more tourism side I suppose, for lack of a better term. Because I still haven't tapped, there's some oil here somewhere, I haven't tapped that yet. So, once again, just checking school capacities, that's fine. That's getting really close now. Maybe I should have another second, uh, not secondary school. Come on, brain, what are they call these things? Elementary schools. Probably towards this side because there's just, you know, a bit more physical distance to get to this area. 
you know, it would be primarily... I'm just thinking what would be a good location. Is that too close to the other one? Because these people would... Okay, farm upgrade. I'll check that out later. Where was I? You know, is that too close to this one, basically? These people would have to walk a little bit further. But I could put it, you know, there maybe, for example. I've done it anyway. Don't tell me these houses were just off, off the corner. But that should take the load off these. Yeah. They have a bit more breathing space now. And same on this one, hopefully. That's that's got more capacity. I mean I can still grow and join these two areas together at some point, but not just right now. Just out of interest, how's our power network doing? I mean it would be nice to join this up. Because then I can get rid of quite a lot of these power cables. And that would just make it more secure. Um, on that note, I will pr I actually will do that. Now the thing is, this area is tourism. And that's office. Is there a good way to blend between them? Without adding more commercial? I could just keep doing the office area down here and then it will just abruptly change into tourism unless maybe a small a small park or feature or something would be a good delineator wouldn't it so if I can find what would go nicely there Japanese garden Um, not so much the waterside stuff. The plaza. Basketball court. No. I'm thinking a plaza wouldn't be too bad. You can imagine it can be used by both office people and by um, tourists. Uh, what's that one? Riding stables? Not on a beach. Volleyball could count, but I'm thinking that's probably leaning a bit more that side than that side. And it's a little bit random, I suppose, just having a single volleyball thing there. The beach volleyball that isn't even on the beach. It's close to the beach, but it's not on the beach. It's a beach. Alright, I'm just going to... Let's just do it. Offices along both. Just normal offices, I think. I don't... This doesn't feel right for an IT cluster. I'm just giving it a little time for these to fill up a bit, and then I can delete those power lines, I think once it's bridged over. Yep, that's done it. Uh, don't need that one anymore. I mean... I could shorten it, couldn't I? I can just do like doink rather than that. And that doesn't need to be all the way over there when that would suffice. Just to tidy it up a little bit. Uh, no more power lines apart from that one, but I do need that separation there for now. I will do that. And then again, we can just tidy that up. There we are. Uh, there's probably a few gaps. Let me just fill those in. Because that's where the power lines used to be. Um, that will do for now. 
so we still have the more scenic, shall we say, office blocks. Would that sell an office to you if it was by the sea? Happy face travel agency, you know, good sea view, that could that could work. Oh, they got a bigger building right next door. They're expanding. Top banking. Solutions, good. We want more of those, not problems. Accounts. You really should be working on the books and not looking out. Happy face, they're everywhere, aren't they? Must be doing well. Like Starbucks. Or Costa to a lesser extent. Maybe. How are we doing down here? So these still not enough customers. I know that that's always been a problem. But that's not going to change until I get some more attractions in the area. Massive demand for industry though. Or offices. So I just put some offices in. That helps a bit but maybe not enough. I have still got my farm of course. So I can always increase farming. So I got some crop fields but not so much fruit. So maybe a bit more fruit in the middle section here. How's traffic looking? Not too bad. Not too bad. I'll, I'll leave that for now. I think, um, you know, some good progress here. We've got a university that's slowly taking off. How are we doing? We need another academic work, which I've paid for. Well, since I'm running unlimited money, have all the stuff. Uh, so once that ticks over, that's okay. I need a few more students. Now, is that... There it is. Happened when we're looking at it. A few more students and it'll upgrade. So does that mean... I mean, a capacity... Is there a capacity listed? There we are. Nearly 500 out of... There we go. So hopefully when the academic year takes over, I'll have the uh, next level. No, it's fluctuating. Uh, what haven't I done yet? Literature. Spend all the money on literature. It might be that I just need more more people going to university. Is that a little bit of crime there? Just a little check. Where's the nearest police station? Way down there. Okay, I probably should have a police station here somewhere. Done. Because that's a, just a little bit too far away, isn't it, really? We've got some coverage over there. What's a good angle? I mean, when you're at university, you can look over the rest of the world go by. You're self-contained, but yet still a part of it. Not bad. Probably could still do a little more work. But I think I will leave that for this session. Thanks for watching. See you next time.